Hey guys, it's the cellmate again. Yeah, I'm sticking with cellmate because I have done for fucking a couple years now. So fuck you, mate. I'm gonna be talking about the kinds of people that you see at goth clubs. Um, I've been going for multiple years myself, so I've kind of observed different types of people that you tend to see when you go. So I'm gonna do this in two categories, kind of, just because like. Okay, there are the goths that you see at goth clubs, and then there are the non-goths that you actually see at goth clubs. So I'm gonna probably start off with the goths that you see at goth clubs. Alright, the first is that brooding, silent sort of type that you tend to see there. They're the ones in the corner, they don't tend to talk to anyone really, they just kind of are there. They don't say much, you don't generally meet them. Some people know about them, know them. Um, some just might be shy, some might just be drunk. Yeah, some might be out for the aesthetic, yeah. Some of them tend to think that they're broody vampires. It's a bit ridiculous, but um, you see them around. They're just kind of skulking around, <laughs> being all creepy and Rrr, I'm a reaper, but um, I'm not going to get into that whole goths that try to convince everyone that they're some sort of supernatural being rubbish right now. Um, if you keep wondering why I keep looking outside because there's a window here, it's because like it's just gone into winter but there are still some leaves and they're all very yellow and very orange and it's really beautiful and there's just like a carpet of leaves outside that are just like yellow and orange and Oh, pretty leaves. Okay, the next type is the obnoxious social climbers. Um, they tend to think that people should kiss the ground that they walk on. They um, think that they're all eaten a bit and they everybody loves them and they're just wonderful and just everything about them is great and everyone should respect them completely given no ammunition to do so really. Um, yeah, sometimes they can be gen like more or less nice people, but some of them are just in it for the, um, kind of just the being liked by everyone thing, which is a bit unrealistic. Uh, most people tend to grow out of this, some people don't. I'm sure that you get that with other clubs and stuff like that, or just social life, you know, the, you know, the exceedingly extroverted people that, you know, think that they're made of gold or something. Um, not generally that well liked when they, you know, start using the, um, bad means to be better than everybody else, but, um, if you just ignore them. You know, meh. I'd like to make obvious that um, about 99% of people you meet at goth clubs are going to be fucking lovely. They're just going to be so nice to you, goth or not, because there are non-goths that um, do come to uh, goth clubs and um, yeah, for the most part everyone's very welcoming, very friendly, and it's just a great atmosphere and there's really nothing to worry about. I remember my first time going to a goth club, I was really worried because I didn't know anyone and it was it was very like it seemed very clicky, but it it really isn't. It really wasn't clicky when you know somebody who can introduce you to other people. It's just, you know, cuz I yeah, when you first move to an area and you aren't really part of the scene yet. It's a bit daunting, but trust me, everything's going to be fine. It's not something that you really need to worry about. Um, you know, 99% of goths um, out and about are just lovely people and will be lovely to you, and as long as you're lovely to them, I suppose. If you're a bit of a dick, then you're not going to be liked, and that's in every social uh, group, I believe. Um, alright, next. Okay, well cultured goths, and there are two kind of branches of these. These are the goths that, um, have been doing it for, fuck, I don't know, um, 10 to 20 plus years, and they've been, they've done the whole rodeo, they know more or less every 
goth band. They have been part of making the history. They've, um, yeah, they're, they're just a really well cultured. They know, they know what goth is. They know who they are as people. They're just, yeah. And there are two branches of them. There are the cultured goths that are really laid back and really casual and really like just really nice people and if you don't know something they won't ridicule you for it, they won't belittle you for it, they'll inform you or just not bother with it, they're just great people. Most of the people at goth clubs are this way. So, you know, but there's also the other branch, unfortunately, the elitist ones that you hear about, the ones who do know a lot of things but they're just kind of assholes about it. And if you don't know as much as they do, or you don't look the way they do, they kind of brush you off. Those kind of people, not worth your time. Just, like, no matter how, like, great everybody else thinks they are, or how great they think they are, it, the, mm, just fucking don't even worry about them. Honestly, just fucking don't even worry about them at all. Because they're just elitist wanks, really. You don't have to, you know care about the fact they exist if they're going to treat you as if you don't exist. You know? Yeah. Simple enough, I reckon. Okay, the young'uns, or like, yeah, the young newcomers. Don't get confused with the noobs, because not all noobs are young uh, or new to the scene at all. They're just new to going out to that club specifically and I'm going to talk about them later but yeah the young'uns are kind of uncultured some of them some of them come straight you know knowing quite a lot about the, the um, gothic culture but a lot of them don't these are the ones that like consider you know the hardcore -y kind of metal corey bands to be goth bands and you know Evanescence is a goth band and this is a goth band and, and they're obviously not see I I isn't, they're usually really lovely people. I personally know that Evanescence isn't a goth band, but I still fucking love Evanescence. They're one of the first alternative bands that I ever got into, and I've got this fucking undying loyalty for Evanescence. So, something. Um, yeah, they're usually like really lovely, really friendly, and the longer that they're in the scene, the more that they know, the more that they'll learn. On the flip side of that, there are the older non-cultured ones, the goths that are have stuck by their misinformed guns about what is and isn't like. like it's, I'm not one to say what goth is and isn't specifically, but there are kind of general knowledge things that they just won't really put into thing. Like saying that placebo is a goth band and Marilyn Manson is a goth band and. Like, they're not just the young'uns, they're the people that have been in the scene for, like, over a decade and they don't really care to know much about um, goth as a culture. They just kind of, I suppose they focus more on the fashion of it and sort of, I guess, the lifestyle to an extent. There's nothing really wrong with that, it's just don't try to call them on their shit because they can be really touchy about it. Just let you know. The next is... The noobs, okay, I mentioned these guys earlier. The noobs are people that haven't really come out to goth clubs. They tend to be really shy, they tend to be on their own. Uh, they tend to get drunk very quickly. I know when I started, I used to just, I, I rocked up and I was fucking really worried that I wasn't going to be accepted. Um, I didn't have to worry about any of that. I knew most of the people in the club within a couple of months. But yeah, I did drink quite heavily when I first went. Um, I've had a few friends who have done this and they've gotten way too drunk and they've gotten kicked out for it. Um, but yeah, the noobs tend to drink quite a bit. They tend to be quite shy until they're drunk. <laughs> Yeah, so newbies, they're pretty easy to spot. They're just those people wandering around, don't seem to know anyone. Smokers areas are great if you're a newbie, I'll just fucking put that out there. I'll probably be, I'll probably be making a video on uh, tips for your first time going to goth clubs or something like that. Just, not like even tips for baby bats, just because I know a lot of people aren't baby bats who are still noobs. 
like goth club wise. Um, there's nothing wrong with being new to a scene. There's nothing wrong with being a baby man, I guess, either. Even though it has a really negative um, tone to it. The gossipers, holy shit. I tend to gravitate away from these guys. Like, a little bit of gossip, I'm happy with. Just so I know where people are standing with each other, that's alright. But the people that, like, all they can fucking do is talk about other people. Holy fuck. They don't dance, they barely drink, I think. Um, they don't really talk about pleasantries that much. They just kind of um, chat about how shit other people are and who's done this and who's done that. And it's just, it's so unnecessary. But yeah, so I, I, I guess you get a couple of those in every social group anyway. So it's another big, oh, hey puppy. Oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. I don't think you gonna fuck off and make you a video. I'm making a video. Go away. Go away. Wee. Wee. Oh, puppy. Oh, that's a good puppy. Um, sorry, I got a bit sidetracked. Um, my partner has two dogs, and this, as I said, is a window, and it's right on the floor level, so, um, and they're coming around the backyard and they see me. They've done that like every video I've made, by the way. Every single video I've fucking made, the dogs have come up and I've had to edit out me going, Oh, puppy, oh, you're so cute, but I'm making a video. Fuck off. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, okay. Next um, little group. And this will lead into the second category, which will be non-goths, but um, this little group is still within the goths, and it's the couples. Now there's, there are another two branches of couples that head to goth nights. There are the goth couples, like both of them are goth, both of them are um, at least Ooh. alternative. Shut the fuck up, oh, do you want to make a video? Okay, so the fucking camera died, like, they got the whole video done and the camera fucking had died before the actual video cut out, so now I have to do this whole thing, not the whole thing, but, um, the last, like, non-goth category I have to do, again, yeah, right, the partners, which is why I was, you know, tying it into the couples, which, they're, they're not that talkative, they don't tend to talk very much. Um, they tend to be pretty much joined to the hip to um, their goth counterparts. Um, they tend, they're generally really lovely, they're generally really respectful of um, everybody else around the goth club. Like my partner is definitely not a goth at all. Um, but he really enjoys going out to goth nights though, like he's, he always felt very welcomed when he would go out to goth clubs, which is lovely, I'm glad that he does because I go out to them quite a lot and it means that we get to share that. The next category are the metalheads. You tend to see a lot of metalheads coming to goth nights. I don't know about um, other places, but I know that at least in the Melbourne scene there's a huge overlap of the metalheads and the goths. Um, both are very respectful that they are very different things. Some people don't understand, seem to understand that metal and goth are very different things. There's a huge overlap. I am like part of that overlap because I am very, very much into the metal scene, uh, black metal and death metal mainly, and um, very, very much in the goth scene as I promote on both sides. I promote metal events and I promote goth events. You do tend to see the old metalhead um, at goth nights, usually metal, the metalheads are both as well, so next category there are the curious people who just might, there, I mean, there are several ways that they can come in, there are some people that might just walk past the venue and think that fuck this looks like a good time, there are the people that might have seen a flyer or might have seen it on Facebook or something like that, who just want to give it a shot, yeah just people who are genuinely curious of We've all seen there might be friends of somebody who tends to um, attend a lot of goth events. They, yeah, some of these people end up being the fourth category, but um, which is a 
annoying, but um, not really a big deal because they tend to end up getting kicked out for one reason or another anyway. I know for a fact that two of the top dogs in um, the goth scene in Melbourne are were just passers-by, people who were on their way to a rave of all things and, um, you know, had a look inside a goth club and thought it was fucking awesome. And now they um, co-own um, one of the biggest goth nights in Melbourne. So that's fucking awesome, one of the nights that I promote for. Um, yeah, passers-by can very well end up being long-term members. <laughs> The last category are the creeps. Um, out, out of the four non-goths, these are the ones that I just don't really like at all. I don't specifically call them creeps because we're all pretty creepy in a goth club. Ha ha. I just have to stop immediately. Yeah, no, um, these are the ones that they could have they could have started off as the curious um, thing and turned into the creeps or the randos. I call them the randos because they're fucking randos. For modern Australians, that means just randoms. I call them randos because fuck you, Australia. Um, yeah, they tend to be the ones who come in assuming that all the girls are fetishists because, you know, as I mentioned in my other video, just the assumption that goths are just immediate fetishists is such a widely known thing. It's just like, yeah, it's fucking annoying. Come in assuming that all these girls are just kinky goth girls and rah 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 because they obviously haven't fucking clicked onto the fact that there are actual fetish nights. There are events that are for just fetishists in general, but no, just go to a goth club and be a fucking arsehole. Um, come in and they're just wanting to tick a goth off their fucking bucket list, you know, like, if you, if you, okay, look, if you're too young to know what I'm talking about by bucket list, get off my channel, please. I'm doing a lot of swearing and you're probably, it's probably your bedtime or some shit like that, I don't know. Um, these guys tend to come in and be really creepy and you can spot them from a mile away because usually they haven't had the courtesy to dress in black or to put any effort into like looking like they belong in a goth club. They just, they're, they're, I, like you see them in normal clubs as well, like I haven't been to a normal club since I was maybe 16 or something but like fucking hell, it's because I don't like them being in my home alright. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's like the four non-goths. Before I get too nasty, I'm just gonna... They are the type of people that you see at goth clubs. Not all the types of people, this was kind of a half assed list. But the types that I could think of the easiest, the quickest. Thank you for coming back to the cove. I'm really happy that uh, I've, like, I haven't got that many subscribers yet, but, like, the fact that fucking 34 people like to see me sitting down in front of a camera and chatting away is just fucking not too shabby. Yeah, um, stick around for a couple of videos that are coming out in the next, uh, maybe a week, a couple of days to a week, depends how long editing takes. I've got some pretty big news, but that's gonna be the second video. Well, it's big news to me. <laughs> it's like kind of weird news to me, but um, yeah, I'm gonna make a video about that because yay. Um, I can't really tell you about it yet because it's not completely announced, but it should be announced by the weekend, so we yay are. And I'm also gonna be doing some sort of vlog going to the National Celtic Festival here in Victoria. Uh, it's not in Melbourne. It's out past Geelong, but it should be really awesome. I haven't been able to go for a few years and I'm really looking forward to it. Hoping to get some footage. Depends how the camera holds up. But yeah, so stick around, subscribe if you'd like to. Check out my other social networking platforms if you'd like to. Like, there are more updates there about my early day life. I've got a Twitter, I've got a Instagram, a Facebook page, which I do some promoting on. So yeah, just like links are always gonna be down, down there. But um, yeah, so I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.